If you aren't sure why the recently released Google Gemini even matters and if it's better than ChatGPT, just watch this. I promise it will blow your mind. I see you're drawing a guitar. You've added an amp. Now it's an electric guitar. We can make some seriously loud music now. Given that you added drums, how about some 80s hair metal? Man, what is this bazooka that Google fired to wake us all up just as we were settling into our cozy blankets for Christmas break with ChatGPT on our side? If you're wondering what this even is and you don't want to get bored with super technical geek shit, let me show you this chart. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Who the hell can understand this? How about we do this instead? I'll show you three short insane demos that Google just released and use that to explain in one to two lines everything you need to know why it's better than chat GPT and how it's going to change your life. By the way, the third one is what literally shows you why this AI is like alive now. So please stick with me for a few minutes till the end of the video. Let's go. First, it's multimodal. Multi what? Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A duck is a type of waterfowl in the family Anatidae. Ducks are closely related to geese and swans. The duck appears to be blue. This is not a common color for ducks. However, there are some breeds of blue ducks. These are typically not as common as other duck breeds. It is more common for ducks to be brown, black or white. Are you sure? What the quack? I was just talking about a blue duck, and now you're holding one. As you might have guessed, multimodal means that it doesn't just take text input like ChatGPT. It can process images, audio, video and visual cues even with no words. You saw it recognize the piece of paper, the drawing, the physical duck and the questions. Now there's a bit of controversy where Google has admitted that not all of this is as seamless as they made it out to be. Gemini needs the images to be processed and needs time to give a response but I'm sure they'll fix it. Think of the potential of something like this. Can you imagine having an AI assistant that just watches you do stuff and can help versus you needing to prompt it every time? What's your favorite multimodal use case that you could use Gemini for? Put it in the comments and the best idea goes in my next video. Second, it takes the term generative AI to the next level. Just watch this. Based on what you see, come up with a game idea. Oh, and use emojis, please. How about this? We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. You saw it generated an idea and detailed it and played along based on its visual understanding of what you showed it, rather than you giving a detailed text prompt on what it's about. You didn't need to be the interface. It's just watching and it understands. Kind of like a real human being would. Ooh. Can you imagine doing ideation, designing a project or an idea or a business and having Gemini just be there to keep taking your thinking to the next level? Before we go to the third, do subscribe to my newsletter with the link below and I'll send you a free step-by-step -step guide on how to use Gemini to save time and money. And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe to the channel. Back to the third and the last one. Just watch this. What movie are they acting out here? I think they are acting out the famous bullet time scene from The Matrix. Ooh, nice! It's not only taking multimodal input and able to match the video to a library and database that it has, but it's able to pull out a cult reference like the iconic Matrix slow-mo bullet scene. This is a very big step towards sentience in my opinion. It's very, very hard to quote something to build in this kind of personality with the ability to pull out cult references and likes and dislikes. If this has got your interest going and you want to know more, click here to see the full video on Google Gemini and what it can do for you. See you there. Now that I've got your attention with these three, do you want to know how to use this to your advantage? Then click right here and I'll tell you in detail how you can save time and money using Google Gemini.